Now we just saw how if and when can be used as statements to take different actions based on some checked value. If and when can also be used as expressions to assign a value depending on those logical conditions. So let's take a look at how we could use an if expression to assign a value to a local variable. So let's go down here and type val greeting to print, we could say equals. Now, if the greeting variable in our top level declaration is non-null, then we want to go ahead and stick with that. So we could say if greeting does not equal null, then we want to assign greeting to the new greeting to print variable. Otherwise, we want to say hi. And then we'll update our print line to use the local variable. Now when we print this out, we should see the else branch of hi being printed out. This is because the top level variable is currently null. If we modify this to pass in a greeting, now if greeting does not equal null, we'll return true, and we'll see that hello is printed out instead. So if we want to assign different values to a variable depending on whether or not something is null or some other logical check, we could use an if expression. However, we could also use a when expression if we wanted. So we could say when, and again, we'll pass in greeting here. And again, we'll use our null value as the first check. And if it's null, we'll go ahead and return high. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and return the original greeting value. So now with this when expression is saying is assign the value of high to greeting to print if greeting is null. And likewise, if greeting is non-null, go ahead and assign that value to the new greeting to print variable. So if we run this one more time, we should see high because greeting is null. And if we assign a value to greeting and rerun, we'll see that updated value of hello. So again, like the if expression, a when expression can be used to assign a value to a variable depending on that input value that it's checking.